I, what's up, guys? I gathered every phone book in the neighborhood, and I'm looking and cross-referencing marriage certificates that I stole from the courthouse. And today, I'm going to cold call every woman that just got recently divorced to prove a point. And the point is, I'm f***ing lonely, and I'm a stalker. You're loud and obnoxious. Oh, I can't. You're loud and obnoxious. I, I can't watch this. This will make me go crazy. I will lose brain cells. I'm not Zuckerberg. watching this. I'm skipping it. Jack Dorsey, Elon Musk. These are all successful tech entrepreneurs that everyone loves. They're hot. They're cool. They're hot and cool, and everyone loves them. And I've never huh. heard anyone say a bad thing. But oh my, not what they like? Jarvis. They're not on TikTok. That's for sure. I, I, I had to check. And that's where this guy comes in. Today, we're talking about TikTok's titan of toxic tech, Ethan Kaiser. Ethan is a software engineer slash entrepreneur slash heartthrob who posts viral videos on TikTok about how he's hacking social media and dating apps to get famous and find love. The only problem? Nothing unless you consider the everything about it. Something really toxic that you used to do or you still do. When you have a girlfriend, you usually ask them for their Wi-Fi password when you spend the night. And when you have access to the router, it's really simple to actually check to see what other devices have connected. By doing so, you can actually determine who's been there. And you can also set this up so you can check this remotely. So let's say she might say, oh, I'm staying in tonight. Well, I can just easily check remotely to see if her device is still in her home. Bro is a sociopath, dude. Dude, he is a serial killer. Yo, I thought, like, because he's such a dork, I thought he was, like, you know... I, I literally thought, like, you know, he's not, like, a stalker serial killer. Like, he... Uh, no, he is. He just... Why is he talking about this openly? Do people not... When he posts stuff like this, do people not realize, like, oh, this is like very creepy and very scary uh, and in the lightest form abuse in the worst form probably illegal that's that's cool that's very cool that he's like hey you want to be a criminal stalker this is stem plus hating women he must ride the algorithm that's crazy yeah evil michael reeves yeah dude like i made a bot that made it easier to stalk women in my neighborhood who won't me if they won't me i'll watch them other people and jerk off to it they can't stop me it's not illegal oh i'm going to jail i'm going to jail because it is illegal i found out that what i'm doing is very illegal if not i mean she's lying if another device comes online maybe she's seeing someone ew by the way never do that never do it it's not a tech hack <laughs> it's a here it's stalking it's a betrayal of trust <laughs> and privacy it's not fbi level a thousand it's DiGiorno and by DiGiorno I mean no it's not FBI level 1000 it is FBI level 1000 it means you're going to the jail that the FBI is going to put you in if they were if we were living in an alternative universe and like federal law enforcement officers cared about cyber crimes such as this okay that's what it would be but we don't live in that world so you can just post it on TikTok and it's fine I guess and then a sea of incels admire your stalking and say, I wish I could do that. God, the world is so broken. <laughs> Sorry, DiGiorno. Sorry, DiGiorno got kind of caught in the crossfire there. <laughs> so many comments saying he's like Joe or this is problematic. But if he was a woman, we're going to be like, go off, queen. No, if anyone did this, it would be bad. If a woman did this, we would be like, yeah, my favorite genre of commenters on the Internet is like, yeah, what this guy's doing, I actually low key like. But if a woman did it, I would not like it. Okay, I would not like it if a woman did that one bit. Let me tell you something, okay? Women should not be allowed to do the stalking. Only men. Men are the only people allowed to do stalking. All right, let's continue. Go on, queen. Go on to jail. Okay, maybe jail is a little harsh. Maybe go on, queen, and think about what you've done. <laughs> Reconsider this, queen. <laughs> You're better than this, actually. I you see, the thing about a man doing this is what if a woman did it? It, they didn't do it, but what if they did? What would you do in that situation? What would you do if a woman did it? It's like, well, I don't know. I, I, people would literally also be equally disturbed. It's psychotic. Um, anyway, I think this is better than, say, trying to go through someone's phone. I think this phone. is better than, say, trying to go through someone's phone. Huh? Just be careful because family might stop by or a roommate's friend. Uh, no, it's actually exactly the same as going. No one would care. What are you saying? Dude, on what planet are women, like, above the law? 
Hello? What are you saying? On what planet do women not get scrutinized on the internet? I mean, seriously. Please, explain to me. Like, you think... Bro, not a month ago, we had a bunch of my friends, okay? Some content creators that you watch as well openly show how upset they were that they were, without their consent, being placed in deepfake. And people got mad at them, okay? People literally were like, shut up. If you didn't want to be sexualized, then... Why are you a woman existing on the planet? <laughs> uh, silly, dumb. I'm going to keep jerking off to deep fake AI view because I'm a freak. That's basically what people said. And you're out here literally acting like this is like women would not be hyper scrutinized for this psychotic behavior. They should. And they certainly would be going through someone's phone just because you did it with technology doesn't make it any less uh invasive just say invasive invading someone's privacy i think a lot of his videos like this are uh creepy and weird but people play it off as a joke because like oh for the record even if there were like the yes queen uh brigade on a woman doing that okay even if there was a yes queen brigade they're also psychotic freaks there are fem cells on the internet too okay look to any of my QRTs. I literally tweeted about going to Japan this morning and how excited I am. And someone said I'm a sex pest because I said I'm going to the island nation of Japan. Okay. There are plenty of crazy freakazoid ladies out there. Okay. Trust me. Who cares? They're just as insane. Tech is magic to them. Unfortunately for me, I have a similar professional background to this guy. So I understand how he's doing all his cool tech hacks. And uh, it's just strange. <laughs> it's just weird. Don't do it. When you are a crypto millionaire, but still hate people. Hassan, serious question. Have you considered how a trip to Japan will increase your ecological footprint? Yeah, bitch. I did. And you know what I thought about it? I don't give a because it's super sweet. It's super sick. What kind of dumb question is that? Let's continue with this freak. All for me. Go! Cool, man. Now I want to dress this up top because I think it's important. Uh, however you feel about watching this guy's stuff or about my commentary on this guy's content. All kinds are bad and you're a bad person. Yes, you are correct. I am a bad person. I mean, you, you got it. Tent, please do not harass him or reach out in any way. It's antithetical to what we're doing here. It is going to be viewed as harassment. It's going to make me look bad because uh, it, my audience and their behavior is... A reflection of the community that I've cultivated. So be on your best behavior and let's keep our criticism contained to 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 this video. It's my intention to uh, do my little jokes and gaffes and goofs and critiques in good faith and uh, I would like to keep it that way. Now I do understand this guy has a million followers on TikTok and that is obviously a platform worthy of of goofing and critiquing but no one deserves harassment so don't okay so ethan's bio reads ethan kaiser big brain that is because his brain is so large because his hacks are so cool he's a nerd like me he lives in miami not like me i left florida we've got tech slash big brain humor just as a reminder uh of how you know <sighs> the the humor is big brain so big in fact that i may be misunderstanding it this whole video may be me just not getting the joke remember kids if it's a joke then you can't be held accountable for anything um it's just a prank bro and then finally it says rebound app link so he has an app he's got an app there's an app for that you know he's got a few apps actually yeah let me go on the let me go on the sociopathic stalker app after liking all of his videos about how he does stalking on random women um yeah uh sir I really loved your uh, surveillance videos and the one where you specifically talk about what actually takes blood stains off of your t-shirt. So I decided I'm going to get on your app and give you all of my personal information. Thank you. Is there more valuable information I can get from you about how to utilize the internet more efficiently to stalk and dox people? I really like that. Thank you for the tutorial. We'll be talking about some of them today. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Notion. Nope. Today. But ended up finding their soulmate. App. I'll let Ethan describe it in his own words. Did anyone else plan on staying single after their toxic ex, but ended up finding their soulmate? 
You might be wondering how many soulmates who made videos to the sound are still together six months later. I wasn't really wondering that, no. Usually when people post stuff like this on social media, I just go cool and I scroll past it and I don't make it my mission <laughs> to find out more. But I guess this was like, why is he mad though? Like, why don't people like this get bullied more? Like what happened? Why are people only bullying me on the internet? Why the f don't these people actually, why? it's so weird. It's like reverse on the internet. If you're like a, trying to be a good person, everyone yells at you. And if you're like openly showing that you're like a f bad person, everyone's like, King, keep it up. I love how you're a bad guy. I want to be like that one day. It's weird, dude. In the real world, it's like still kind of the exact opposite where like, if you're a good person in the real world, people are like, oh, you're a good guy. I like you. And if someone is a bad guy, they go, oh, you're a bad guy. I don't like you. On the internet is the exact opposite. And it's very strange. I don't understand it. It's like a trend where people use the sound to post about their soulmate. Toxic X to soulmate. So they're saying that like they were in a bad relationship and then they found something that was healthier for them. I don't see that. I don't see the issue for that. I mean, some people are more public with relationship stuff, I'm not, but I, okay, you know, whatever, to each their own. Of the 500 most popular videos, I tracked the soulmates' relationships on Instagram. And what I found is a game changer. To track the relationships, I wrote some code and made an app called Rebound. Here it tracks in real time whether or not people are dating based on whether they follow each other. And to track a new relationship, all I need to do is put in their Instagram accounts and hit subscribe. What does this accomplish? Why does it bother you so much that someone is expressing their love on the dancing app? Especially in a context where they were in a bad relationship and then they found a good one. Is that so- Bro, I'm game changer. Yeah, I'm always thinking like, how can I streamline the process of people's relationships crumbling? And this is a game changer for me. Only me. I'm the one who's been thinking this. And apparently millions of other people that like this guy. But like, that's so weird. It's like, like how does your life materially change? No, actually, what? Dude, you're like, not only are you just like a bad person, but you are weird and gross. Being a hater is too widely accepted in our culture. I mean, like, it's fine. I'm a hater. You know what I mean? I I, I don't have an issue with hating, but like directed towards people who kind of deserve it. You know what I mean? I feel like maybe it's just, there's just a lot of bad dudes out there who are just like, nah, this is me. I, I love this. I'm, I'm hating all the, all the people who are in relationships and talked about being in a relationship because I'm not in a relationship. I'm going to come and find you. I, I'm going to prey on your downfall. To wrong? To hit subscribe and bingo, I'm now tracking whether they follow each other. And sometimes things don't work out and they break up and unfollow each other and I get a push notification. Nice. <laughs> Hell oh yeah, dude. God. Oh man. I love push notifications. I especially love them when they're about love not working out. But whatever, people are nosy. I'm nosy. I just don't need a push notification. <laughs> and minutes after they broke up, I would slide into their DMs. And nearly 30% of them responded to my DM. Okay, so I, I need to believe that you are not just making this app to find vulnerable people to DM. Like, it has to just be for the bit. It has to just be for the content. Because if that were the case, it would be really fucked up, I think. Not only were most of them not soulmates, they were also already moving on responding to DMs. They were already moving on responding to DMs. The DM. Bro, men will make a mass stalking to find vulnerable women to prey on app instead of going to therapy. Like, actually. That's crazy, bro. That's... He streamlined it. Also, the funniest part about it is that, like, he very clearly demonstrates he doesn't understand how human psychology or, like, human beings work. Because he just automatically is like, oh, pff, they've moved on from the relationship because they responded to my DM. These are normies. These are literally normies dog like who knows why the people respond to random dms you have like a lot of followers that makes no sense like they could be like what's up with this guy they don't know you're a creepy stalker bitch in question was hey i saw your tiktok videos and had to reach out you are funny that's a compliment why would you assume that ha that is romantic at all <laughs> like, especially if this person's like a content creator, especially, especially because you are a TikTok creator, a larger TikTok creator, complimenting a smaller TikTok creator. Like, I don't understand 
why that yeah. means that they're moving on. Hey, just wanted to say I really like your videos. You're pretty funny. Oh my God, thank you. That's so kind. Moving on a little quick, aren't we? What? No, I was just thanking you for your comp. No judgment, no judgment. Nice videos though. Thanks. Disgusting. Not only were most of them not soulmates. He really has to like dig in that they're not soulmates. It's like, dude, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's like a superlative. Some people say, yeah, pre-technology, a dude that would do this sort of thing, you would like, like pre-social media becoming this commonplace, people would just like kind of be like, yeah, you're a stalker. Uh, I'm going to call the authorities on you. I saw you doing this to a woman and that's gross. You should go to jail. Now it's like, go ahead, King. Keep doing this. I love your videos. You're reaching out and you got a 30% response rate. That's pretty fire. I wish I could be like you one day. Say that. It's not like something to be disproven after every breakup. The divorce. <laughs> Dude sending 1,000 letters to every girl who changed their name back after marriage. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm imagining like a pre-social media version of this. He's like, I, what's up guys? I gathered every phone book in the neighborhood. And I'm looking and cross-referencing marriage certificates that I stole from the courthouse. And today, I'm going to cold call every woman that just got recently divorced to prove a point. And the point is, I'm f***ing lonely and I'm a stalker. <laughs> Divorce rate is 50%, right? Like, and, and you're talking about like 40% of these relationships not being together after six months. I'm like, okay, this isn't new. This isn't news. The news is that, that people are excited about relationships that ultimately don't pan out. You got him there. Can you imagine dating this dude and simply suggesting that you might be soulmates? Babe, there's this trend on TikTok where people are posting their soulmates and I'm gonna post you cause I love you. The data actually disagrees with the concept of soulmates. I, I just love you. There's a high statistical probability that you won't forever though. Okay, I don't understand why you would say that. Facts don't care about your feelings, Marie. I, uh, I have a graph. So people are mad at me for uploading a video exposing all the fake soulmate relationships on TikTok. I just wanna point out I'm not mad at this man. I'm making fun of something he did because I thought it was clownish behavior, you know? Like the, the, there's a difference between being mad. I just wanna sort of point that out because there's gonna be a lot of, oh, you're just mad or you're taking something out of context. I'm doing my best to give the appropriate and relevant context. And also, you know, all of this stuff is still is still available. I'm not like knowingly withholding context so that it fits my narrative, I simply cannot condense literally everything this man has ever said or did on the internet um, into into this video. So I'm in awe. Like, I can't even be mad at him because, like, he is just cataclysmically bad. He's, like, down bad, down abysmal. You know what I mean? He, he's just, like, like I'm, I'm kind of in awe that, like, someone would not only, like, think that this is a good idea to do, but then also do it on camera. But I'm also more sad that like thousands of people, millions of people look at that and go, that's fire, dog. Like, I want to be just like that. I got to pee. So, you know, Ethan, if you ever watch this video and you feel like something's missing context, it is not my intention and it's my sincerest apology. I wanted to know if they were actually going to be soulmates. So I wrote some code. I made a whole now app just for shit. this. And like 40% of the soulmates broke up in a few months. But people from those videos were saying this was creepy and that it was stalkerish. I don't know. What do you guys think? I agree. For what it's worth, I think that some of the concepts that this guy's playing around with are interesting, but then he completely loses me in the implementation. Uh, so for example, um, this next app of his. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be super famous where everyone wants to be around you? You're the life of the party. <laughs> Hell yeah, I have. Well, I built an app that makes it look like you have thousands of viewers on IG Live. I then took my clout to a Miami beach club to see what would happen. Why are there so many people on here? Guys, we're out here right now. So essentially he built an app that pretends to be Instagram Live so that he can walk around with his phone pretending like he's live streaming and lie to people about who he is. <laughs> it's the perfect crime. Nothing starts a new relationship off right like lying about your identity. What's going on, guys? So he hangs out at this, I don't know, pool party thing. Oh boy, I don't really know that. And that's cool, I guess. He's always got to have his phone out, always got to be streaming. <laughs> so that people don't forget he's famous 
Uh, but then he goes to a club that's sold out and and waves around his magic clout wand. Right now we're at capacity. I'm only letting... Um, so I have um, 45,000 people watching on Instagram Live. We would love your shout out. I'll love you in the back. Okay, come on. Right, but it works. It, it works. Sorry, the camera's right here. It works. <laughs> I mean, as long as it isn't staged, it works, which I have no reason to believe that Ethan would socially engineer us. He's never done that before. Side note, if you ever see me flashing around my internet numbers anywhere in real life, you have permission to murder me in cold blood. <laughs> if that's- Yeah, that's like so weird. What, wait, so why is that like, why is that okay? Like if a Twitch streamer did that shit with like real followers to get into a nightclub, basically everyone would be universally going, you're a loser and they would deserve it what it comes to then i deserve i asked for it my absolute favorite part of this whole thing is what the chat is saying because uh you'll remember he is not actually streaming on instagram live uh and so he has to make it seem like he has a vibrant live active chat just chatting it up while while ethan's out partying in miami and <laughs> kind of like how you kept telling all the Twitch staff at TwitchCon. Wait, what? Kind of like how you kept telling all the staff at TwitchCon who you were to get in. Wait, what? <laughs> it's a joke. No, man. No, I'm not going to ban you. It's funny as f <laughs> This guy's like, dude, I can't believe you went to the desk where you get your lanyard and told him your name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I have to read you the, the chat messages. <laughs> He's programmed like 10 phrases to repeat in his chat and it paints the saddest picture of all time. Guess who my favorite creator is? Who is your favorite creator? Have you ever heard of Ethan Kaiser? I hear he's a great creator. It sounds, it sounds like a children's poem. Um, <laughs> do you go live often? I like what I'm seeing. Look, I'm not trying to take take too much away from uh, from developers, from programmers and stuff. But what he has essentially built, I you know, app gets thrown around a lot. Like it's a huge, like it's a huge operation. He built a screenshot with more steps. Can we be honest about this? <laughs> it's a cam review and then a little scrolling chat and then a number of fake viewers. Um, you go live off. So shut the. I do want you to imagine that he's just showing a screenshot of like his of his follower count around places and people are just like, oh my God. But you know, because it because people aren't used to people walking up to them and lying, it does like it it, it works to some extent. Because why would someone do that? Why would someone pretend to be famous just to like have people like them? That's like a sad thing to do. It, it some might think do you go live often i like what i'm seeing and then the same profile picture but with a different name would you ever go on, on the same screen would you ever go on a date with a viewer will you adopt me want to be my friend this is the saddest collection of words that you could ever read in a goddamn chat but also it's low-key this chat let's be real he had to write all of these himself and that is the funniest thing in the world to me <laughs> it's like it's just kind of like dystopian and kind of sad um and i mean i i feel like that's super mean to say but it's just a weird op it's like the optics are just odd you know it's just funny to see what he thinks it's like to be a famous streamer you know what i mean and of course when staple conversation topics like who are you come up <laughs> he, he has a response I don't. I never tell people in person my follow or who I am. I never tell people in person my follow or who I am. You're not Batman. <laughs> there's like, there's only so many people that can command fifty thousand like concurrence on an Instagram. Dude, you know what's really crazy about this? Like, when you're an up and coming streamer, okay, as I was at a certain point. There's this like hurdle that you need to overcome of insecurity that you're running around with a fat camera. And if you don't do IRL streaming for a while, it's still kind of hard. And this guy, instead of having that like anxiety of being a douchebag in public, he set up a fake version of that. So he's not even doing the content side of it. And he's just basically doing like the douchebag side of it. Like he's just like, that's not supposed to be the benefit. That is the negative consequence of streaming. When you're like looking like a douchebag filming yourself in public. He's just doing it for fun, for no reason, to zero people. How is it any different than normal IRL streamer? A normal IRL streamer, Omega Laughter, is literally doing it to an audience, an actual 
audience. You're there not for the clout that people could potentially assume you have. Instead, you're doing it because, you know, you want to show people the experience. He's just doing the cringe shit. It's very, very odd. Instagram live stream. Can I get into the club, please? I'm very famous. I'm sorry, who are you? I never reveal my secrets. <laughs> just to put things into perspective, when Drake went live on Instagram after the Raptors won the NBA finals, he was getting like 75K concurrent viewers on Instagram live. And he is also one of the biggest celebrities on the platform. So I just, uh, I feel like most people that big are also people who would be recognized in person, you know, uh, but what do I know? It took me and my team to the VIP in the club and like and follow to see what happens next. Okay, so he took his team, his new gang to the VIP in the club and what happens next? Well, I, I'm gonna watch this YouTube video. What's up guys, it's Ethan, and I wanna be a celebrity. I want the fame, I want the clout, but unfortunately I can't sing or dance. Have you tried making goofy commentary videos on YouTube? Eh? So watching the YouTube video, it kind of makes me more upset <laughs> because it's like, oh, here's how I duped a restaurant owner into thinking I was important and so he gave me special treatment. And I get it, like, you know, it's a commentary. Should we be giving special treatment to people who we think are famous or whatever? I don't know. I don't think anybody should be getting special treatment, but the fact that you're, like, lying and getting special treatment as, like, a gotcha, like, doesn't feel good. It just feels gross. I don't know. You know, to his credit, in his YouTube video, he does shout out the spots. So that's not nothing. And I think that, you know, credit where credit's due. I think it's good that he did that. And for our last act with Mr. Kaiser, I ask you, how do you get a date? Do you put yourself out there and be yourself in a kind and respectful manner? Do you have a friend set you up? No do shot. you use a dating app or do you make an app to lie? Okay. Um, okay. Make an so, app to lie. Make an app to lie is where Make I'm app leaning because that's kind of his MO. Um, it's D. It's going to be D. Maybe I should feel a friend. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go with teach a computer to impersonate a serial killer from an early 2000s psychological thriller. Final answer. Wow. Uh, it's... How did you know that? Now this is gonna sound completely unrelated, but American Psycho is a psychological thriller slash horror movie from the year 2000 about Patrick Bateman, a wealthy investment banker in New York, played by Christian Bale, who hides the fact that he's a serial murderer with Sigma. his status and charm. Just thought you should know. Wikipedia says the satirical film blends Am horror black comedy again? to mock 1980s yuppie culture and consumerism. That was random. All right, let's watch Ethan's TikTok about dating 50,000 women in New York City. Step one, I reverse engineered all the major dating apps and stored 49,000 profiles in a database. I'm gonna stop you there. Why did you? That's, first of all, I don't even believe he did that. There's no way you can do that. What? That's, pro no, he can't do that. That's definitely insanely illegal. There is no shot you can do that. Wait, what? How can you do that? Is that legal? It's not legal. No, dude. No, you can, you can. F okay. What he's describing would mean taking advantage of a gigantic cybersecurity flaw in a dating application that reveals the location of like thousands of women and men. Please understand what the f he's talking about. That is a gigantic invasion of privacy. There's no way he actually did that. Not a bug, a feature, it's all public. Wait, what? He's 1,000% scraping public information for other users? Wait, what? Where? Wait, what do you mean? OSINT is not illegal? Yes, using dating app data outside of the app is probably illegal? Wait, that makes no sense. What? Okay, 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 okay. Is he just scraping data from, like, advertisement shit? No app that is used in Europe would have co to comply on GDPR to secure the data? I'm a cybersecurity engineer and it's definitely doable. Just scrap all your matches into a local database. It's easy, but illegal and way too much effort. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. It's just bots that scrape the data from public profiles, most likely. Web scraping is hella common in affiliate marketing. So it's basically just like uh, sucking up all of the information of, of his Tinder swipes is what you're saying. Of all of the public profiles on Tinder. That's crazy and gross. You are too comp illiterate to understand this. I am very comp illiterate, but I think I understand the basic principle. I thought he was literally, I thought he was taking literally every Tinder user 
like every Tinder user's information and real time location data. But it, it's probably only forty nine thousand, so it's got to be local. So it's just like whoever he sees. Exactly the same shit Corpos do to sell us Curex, dude. This shit ain't special. Yeah, but you do that. I have to blur some of this TikTok because he just scrolls through his matches. It includes their full ass names. There's phone numbers in here. This is the hell are you doing, man? We're gonna assume. Okay, there's no way phone numbers, dude. No shot. You, dude, come on. That's not public data. If it's public, yes. No, 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 no. Man, who the fuck puts their phone numbers in there? What are you, crazy? Assume that that is a careless mistake. As for what he's actually talking about, I get it, I guess. You know, dating is difficult. I've done it. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it. That's why I don't leave this room anymore. And I just talk to you guys. Is this against the terms of service of Hinge? Probably. But all's fair. How do you think upload your contacts to your friend works? Dude, that is not publicly accessible information. You think Tinder is like just literally giving individual phone numbers of individual accounts? No, that would have to be a breach. That's not public. Are we serious right now? Come on. Yes, they are. That's exactly what's happening. I can't believe that I, I don't agree with this. If you get the corollary and image and some Googling, you can probably get a few numbers. That's different. That's different. That's different. That what you're describing is different. The PNs are from the app. The PNs are from cross-referencing Google searches. Oh my God. That's okay. That makes sense. Okay. So he goes to like whitelists or whatever, or white pages. And he cross-references names from an area to find corresponding phone numbers. That is psychotic. That is bananas. It's psychotic. It's insane. Like the top of the hour ad break coming at the top of every hour and me somehow forgetting to run it. But fear not, I did not forget to run it. I'm going to run it right now. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You get one free Prime subscription a month. That's crazy. This is like literally stalker shit. He's describing what all these like psychotic stalkers do on the internet. Neckbeard waifu. Thank you for the five get the subs. Just a three minute ad break now in love and app i then wrote a program to swipe right on all of them and got around five thousand matches you know what five thousand out of fifty thousand that's a ten percent match rate dude you could have just gone through using the app regular style and had a grand old time instead of this <laughs> instead of what instead of th whatever this is and to speak to all five thousand women i built an artificial intelligence based on the personalities of patrick bateman from american psycho and james bond ah. Ah, see, now you're happy you got a recap of American Psycho. Let me get this straight. You could create an AI to respond with quotes from any character across film and television, and you chose the two least eligible bachelors possible? If your goal- He chose a murderer, dude. I mean, two, both of them murder, to be fair. Like ...is to date women. I don't understand why you wouldn't choose characters from movies that women actually romanticize, you know? Like yeah, that's so funny. The, uh, God, Jarvis, that is such a good lock. Yeah. He didn't even choose someone that, like, women find attractive. I've never seen a woman that's like... I mean, obviously, Christian Bale is hot, but, like, I've never seen a woman be like, oh, yeah, Patrick Bateman, that's the ultimate boyfriend. If anything, they clown on that attitude all the goddamn time. That's so crazy. Like Ryan Gosling in The Notebook or ratatouille don't get weird y'all are romanticizing ratatouille and it's time to admit it there's a rat making your food and you're like cool the artificial intelligence used movie quotes to speak on my behalf for example do you like to accompany me to dinner if you're not doing anything sure where do you want to go anywhere you want just say it i can get us in anywhere aren't these the things that he says before he kills you <laughs> like and also it's not even like it's supposed to be gross please understand He's not a cool character. Guys, what's going on? What's the... I'm about to turn Jordan Peterson up in this bitch. I'm about to start crying, saying, what's going on with men? Bro, he's like... He looks cool because he's... You know, he's a good-looking guy. But, like, he's not... Like, that's supposed to be weird and gross. Like, he's actually, like, having a mental breakdown. Because, like, the commodities that he consumes makes up the entire character. Because he has nothing. Like he's, he's a hollowed out shell of a man. And the only way to feel something is by murdering people. Please, you're not understanding it. You missed the point. That's so weird, man. Like, isn't this weird? Like, why would, what is happening? Is the joke, haha, 
Haha, ha, you fell for me using murderer quotes. Let's get married. Also, not to victim blame, but I don't know that I would want to date someone who failed the Turing test. But I also wouldn't want to put my potential partner <laughs> in a in a in a situation where they may not know that I'm a computer. You know, these are 2022 problems. So these are not really things that we've talked about too much. But yeah, can my date solve a captcha? <laughs> you know, like these are these are maybe concerns I didn't know I had, but now questions that I'm asking. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna start every date with a little bit of a captcha. Tell me which of these are cars. Where do you want to go? Uh -huh. Anywhere you want. Just say it and I can get us in anywhere. <laughs> it's just the manic energy of this. It doesn't matter to me. What's your favorite drink? Vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. Would you like to see my apartment? Not on the first date. This poor girl. All right, all right, all right. I think that it should be illegal to use this. All right, all right, all right. What did he put? Matt McConaughey and Dazed and Confused in there? What the f is that? Neither of those characters say that. Many exclamation points on a dating app for any reason. Just the second you hit that third exclamation point, jail. Like and follow for more big brain hacks. Ugh. I'm not trying to make up things that I don't like about these videos, but like, look what I did. And then you like show your girlfriend or something like ugh, i don't know to the credit of the random people who he is accosting with serial killer movie quotes he i don't think many of them did like it like in his video about this there are more examples of people not being into it now i've been on these things wait 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 wait. did you know ted bundy's first dog a collie was named lassie haha -ha. that this is weird goodbye into it now i've been on these dating apps before and i've had very little success where even if i match with someone i usually get ghosted <laughs> and this is my villain origin story this is one thing <laughs> I out of context yeah. because i don't think you need the context um he's just talking about like how he's like designed this this algorithm and when i was watching this i like groaned audibly we now know that everyone that comes after them is also below our standards so we can just oh you know he lives with his parents there's no way he lives on his own Please don't tell me he lives in this apartment on his own. This interior design is made by a 48-year-old, no, a 58-year-old woman named Barbara, okay? It looks like a hotel, dude. No shot. Leave them and only focus on the bunch we like. It's important to note that when setting my standard, I made sure that I was sober and had no other substance in use as this historically has uh, skewed my data negatively. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, dude. The sad part about this is that like a lot of people are really into it. And I just think that I just don't, uh, I, I, un okay. I understand why people are into it because dating is hard and that's true. Huh. It's, I, that's an Airbnb while he's on the run. Yeah. He's literally evading the authorities, but he can't stop himself. He can't stop himself from constantly trying to riz up women in his way which is of course cyber stalking by using security flaws in applications and data scraping and making youtube videos about it there's literally just the entire team at the fbi dedicated to his cyber crimes they're just watching his youtube videos they're like damn bro write that down write that shit down I, he did it again that's crazy you know, I concede dating apps, it's like very discouraging. It's very difficult to date, but I just don't think this is the way. I don't think this is, this is how to do it. For me, it calls to mind that old adage, just because you can doesn't mean you should. It just feels ethically wrong to me. I feel like if these women were aware of what was going on, obviously they wouldn't consent to it. And it just makes me feel uncomfortable. Also, what's the game plan here? Do you never reveal your methods? Or like what happens when you show up to the date and you're like not a complete tool? Unless I'm hooked up. <laughs> to be fair though, if like someone is getting rizzed up by Patrick Bateman quotes and it's not even like a particularly clever use of AI, it was just spitting out Patrick Bateman quotes that are like directly one-to-one -one from the movie. It, you know, she's already, you know, she, you can't get much worse than that. You know, you literally can't get much worse than that. Also, I don't even know if it's AI. I think it's just more so him writing the messages from the movie. I don't know. <laughs> I tricked your meme mob with a highly sophisticated dating algorithm. What did you say? <laughs> 
Well, I said, uh, I have all the characteristics of a human being, blood, flesh, skin, hair, but not a single clear identifiable emotion except for greed and disgust. Something horrible is happening inside of me and I don't know why. <laughs> it's a little alarming how excited people are about it, but I, I think it's because, you know, people just, they want to find love and they don't know what to do. You know, bro, the personality of Bond and Bateman <laughs> goats. I can see it all now. Even <sighs> after they all find out that you did this and I was totally genuine, you will still be the preferred one. FML. That's what we're doing. Oh God, that's what incels are. That's like incels always. It's just like, I feel so bad for myself and I'm just going to write about yeah, it on the here. internet. That's, and I feel bad. You know what I mean? But this, I don't think this is something that everyone should aspire to or admire. Men but will call themselves Sigma, but really they just got a personality disorder. Yeah, this is like, people used to talk about like BPD. Uh, like women with BPD in similar terms, but like this is the same shit. This is the male version of that, okay? It's just, please, you know? There's a reason that people aren't doing this. It's not that for lack of the skill or, you know, like ability to put two and two together. It's just kind of a creepy thing to do. Look, I'm going to call it here. And look, I... I don't get to decide what's right and wrong in this life. Uh, BPD, big penis disorder. Yeah, I got that. That's exactly what I I'm talking about. I just think that this is a little goofy and more than a little goofy in some in some cases. Creepy, you know, is a word that I might use. Uh, toxic, sure. I think that he's kind of adopted that word himself. I think that he knows how it's going to be perceived, but he's doing it anyway. Uh, but whatever. I think it's I think it's kind of goofy. I think it's kind of clownish. Um, <laughs> I think it's morally gray at best. Uh, s some of these things. You know, the good news is I don't get to decide everything in the world. Um, but I did, you know, want to kind of throw my two cents in because people really do kind of look past the the ethics of things when they're promising something that we want. I hope you enjoyed this video, if that was possible, and. I will see you next time. All right. Well, on that note, I'm going to call it a night night for myself. Okay. That's right. And, uh, and I will see you tomorrow back with some more content. There's a lot to cover. There's a lot I missed. I mean, it's true. He's, he's hey guys, a real... Did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? No. No, that's illegal. This is illegal. This has to be illegal. Because I know the subject matter. That should be illegal in general, even as copypasta. But also, this is too good. Oh, no. Oh, no. It should be illegal because I know what he's talking... No, I know the copypasta should be illegal, too. No, 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 stop. Not only are they in the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeon are an average of 303 tall and 63.9 pounds. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>